Hey, what's going on guys? It's Wolf Zero and welcome back to another episode of How to Minecraft here on the How to Minecraft server. Hope you guys are having a great day. We have a lot of really cool things planned for you guys. But before we do anything like that, make sure to hit that like button down below. Hope you guys are having a whole bunch of hot and spicy fun with How to Minecraft. I apologize that uh, the last episode was a little bit later than I anticipated it would be. It's been crazy and a lot of really cool videos have been going up on the channel. So make sure you're constantly checking back for awesome stuff and things like that. We had some battle domes uh some battle domes coming out as well this weekend and a bunch of really cool things and i'm trying to just produce all the best content for you guys and you know you know i love it so i've been doing a little bit of work on head of minecraft uh you know off camera which i don't like to do i apologize but don't worry not a lot of work the last episode we worked on our farm in the front i'll make sure to show you guys in that in a second but if you haven't seen the episode where we do uh, the farm bill and work on our little uh, house out here make sure you go check that out before watching this episode because you'd be a little bit lost but anyways let's jump in and we got some things planned so let's show you guys what's going on so I did a little bit of work as you could tell I also increased the uh, flow size of this to three and let's just jump on down here and whoa um, and show you guys so I did a little bit of cute roofs here we got some glass and some stone with some glowstone in here so they glow at night and we have our cows which are growing pretty nicely and uh, I did a little bit of off-camera work inside of here just opening this up which it takes a long time like it's not easy to do this isn't you know mad pack or modded factions or uh, not modded factions, modded Minecraft. I got factions on my mind every day, every night. You know how it is. Um, we actually been playing. I've been playing so many, so much factions, like hours and hours and hours recently. So it's definitely on my mind. But uh, it's not like a modded Minecraft where you can get like a hammer or you can have like things that mine for you. you Got to mine every single block, and the only way to get around that is TNT. And I don't have any of that, so it's 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 really difficult to make these large rooms. But we're gonna do something with this not today because I want to obviously work on something else. But this is just what I've been doing off camera. I also so have this bad boy right here so we found ourselves a zombie villager so I'm gonna turn him into a villager so we got to get a golden apple and a weakness potion for him a splash potion of weakness we're gonna turn him into a villager he's holding on to a block though so I don't think he'll despawn so I'm not particularly rushed for that but I did find him he actually had a friend Man, he had a bro. They were they obviously were villagers together and they died together. It was an adorable love story and I killed him with my sword and I realized he was a villager and then I cried and I saved his friend and we'll turn him into a villager. He might be a little sad at me, but hopefully uh, the humans or the Minecraft characters, because I don't think Minecraft characters are actually humans. Just a, a theory that I have about Minecraft, but hopefully this Minecraft character does not remember, this villager does not remember what it was like with a zombie, because if he does, he'll be a little scared of me and uh, probably try and run away. Uh, yeah, because I kind of killed his friend. But anyways... So that's the work I've done on this. I always got to show you guys the off-camera work. I changed the uh, the glass here to prismarine. I think it looks a lot better with the red and blue. And I also changed the wall here from cobblestone to stone bricks. So a little bit of a couple of nice changes to, to that setup for sure. And uh, let's go ahead and just do a couple things real quick here. And what is... Well, it's like a weird pixel in there. Uh, just because you obviously want to look uh, similar and, and nice and funky fresh. But I think the main thing we're going to do this episode is two things. Uh, I did a little bit of research on MC. MMO uh, in general because you guys know I love my MCMMO and that's pretty much what we're going to be working on a whole bunch of in the next couple uh, next week really uh, which I really I went through all that wheat holy moly we've just been eating through because I'm letting I really need these cows to grow so uh, okay <laughs> uh, yeah so MCMO is really my thing and we're definitely gonna be working a lot on MCMO in the near future so this episode is going to be at least talking about it because I spent a lot of time working on MCMO alchemy I was doing some research and I found a couple things that I think are gonna be very helpful to us uh, how to automate automize and, and and automatically do potion uh, brewers with still getting the MCMMO and that sort of setup so we're gonna talk a little bit about that we're also gonna work on the enchanting table and make our own so we don't have to go to Lachlan's house because you got all these house here and do a couple of other really cool things in terms of building and, and layering this out and see like fixing this little area and stuff like that so let's go ahead and jump in the first thing I'm gonna do is this because it actually is bothering me more than I'd like to lead on we're gonna go ahead and turn that into a, a full pillar of stone we got a whole bunch of stones so I'm not worried and I'll see you guys when that's done so this is actually a lot easier than I thought and now that we might not have hammers and crazy modded stuff but the custom plugins was actually super helpful the jump boost made that go a lot faster than I thought it was going to take. So we have increased the size of this island. It's looking a, just a lot better. Uh, we'll do a lot of work. I think we're going to increase the size of this as well. To, uh, can I make this jump? Oh, <laughs> close, my friend, close. Let's just actually go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of a jumping platform. Uh, what? 
Come on, dude, you can get me up there. I believe in you. Ready? Uh, all right, fine. One more. Oh, a bunch more. We're cheating now. Okay, there we go. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to make this this size, just like that, and have the, the water flow all there. I think it will look uh, just a little bit, obviously, cleaner now that we've increased the size of this area. So just some overall stuff like that. We'll get some water there. We'll get that water flowing. Oh, come on. Uh, uh, and... Uh, Oh, damn it. <laughs> parkour actually be really interesting on the server with the jump boost. Uh, maybe do a cool little parkour job. Anyways, we'll get the water flowing, and that's just going to look a lot better. Ooh. And then we got to increase the size on this little area here just to make it even. Let's just see if this is even actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. All right. Let's do that. Ow. Oh, well, you know, clearing up, clearing up. Thanks, Creeper. Appreciate it, bro. Everything has been fixed up. It looks a lot better. And I think eventually we're going to actually want to make a bridge into an entrance down there. Now, what I did make is a secret entrance somewhere in here that I can actually get into my base. And we'll actually make that a little bit more apparent for us to use in the future. And wow, we really need to clean up this side of the wall. Holy moly. All right, that's a lot better. Wow, I just realized that the outside there looked absolutely horrendous. Maybe some stairs there or something to just kind of uh, even that out or just even push it all the way up would actually be pretty cool Let me actually show you guys the power of the jump boost for this like it's absolutely been so tremendous So we just kind of get ready for it jump place jump there we go break that maximum efficiency Oh, come on. Don't don't do this to me now. Baby girl. Come on break. All right, and then we just go whoop, and then whoop, Crazy crazy useful crazy quick It's so nice to have and uh, really good for building on the outside of my base here And then I can just kind of jump my way back up here. So that's the system All right, so the outside of the place has been pretty much worked on um, it's looking really good I think I really like how this looks like it's absolutely just tremendous and it's just becoming nicer and nicer we might even want to make that window bigger or add something to it or maybe have a chimney popping out of there or something it just really looks like it was a mountain turned into something a lot cooler we got our little pens outside and overall I'm really happy and I would like to make a cute little bridge that heads into our island down there with some doors and like an actual legit entrance into it uh, and that would be fantastic and we're also gonna get rid of this bridge here and uh, these hell pots man that's just gonna be so annoying to get rid of apparently a lot of you guys said keep them and I'm like eh, I might I might not have, I'm not sure yet not not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with them but uh, we'll have to find out in in a little bit anyways I'm gonna head to the bottom I'm gonna oh my pressing uh, we're actually chatting about our trip to Florida which is happening very soon which I'm super pumped about I get to see him Mitch Jerome and uh, it's gonna be a good old time but anyways we're gonna head out to the bottom we are going to where are the boots here hmm was it the zealous boots I went there Okay. Um, anyways, yeah, we're going to go to the basement. We're going to start working on some enchanting. I would like to go to an enchanting table, maybe a lock lens, or see how many level uh, we can get, because I want to see if I can get a looting sword on my sword before I start killing all those cows. But it shouldn't be that difficult to get them all going. I mean, we have a pretty decent amount of cows and a lot of paper, as you can tell. But uh, we definitely need a lot of leather, so we'll do that. And uh, I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, so we've done a significant amount of killing on our cows, unfortunately. And uh, I think gotten a pretty decent amount of leather out of it, which is nice. Uh, let's see exactly how much. 57 steak. I think we had a little bit, but 26 leather. We need, I think, double that. But this will at least get us relatively close. I unfortunately am going to need to get some more bone meal to get some more of this lovely, lovely uh, wheat. Because I'm entirely and 100% out. Why do these keep on popping? Uh, why do you pop? How can she pop? <laughs> what you doing? Um, so we're gonna go see how far this gets us. I mean, I think I know that I think it's like 47 leather like you need 47 books I think if I remember correctly, but I am not entirely sure I always I always forget I don't entirely trust myself to get the numbers quite right So let's go ahead and make all of these books and we're gonna actually need a lot more wood funny enough But we're out of wood. So I need to go ahead and do that as well, which is Weird because it's like how often you're just like oh no, I got no wood actually I feel like I always say that I feel like I'm always out of wood and I'm always like how am I out of wood? You know what I mean? So let me go ahead and do that real quick and we'll try and see if we can get some bone meal to get that uh, The uh, the wheat going and I can do a little bit more breeding and I'll see you guys when We actually start making bookcases and see how close we can get to level 30 in this little bit. Oh There's a dungeon here. Hello. Um, I don't think it's been raided actually today We don't have any potions, so it's gonna be a little bit of a tough one to actually do but I'm wondering if we can actually fight this dungeon, which would be interesting. Lots of levels, lots of levels for axes, 
Uh, maybe we can dip in here and see if this is possible. Uh, let's give it a try, I suppose. I think the really big difference is if we are able to use the smite aspect here. Uh, on the on, if there's what you call it, uh, what am I what am I call it? <gasps> Skeletons or zombies? Uh, that'll be the the big thing. Uh, I don't have any potions though. You know, we could probably just head back, grab some strength potions, and and come back over here. Let's just see if there actually is a boss. And it's not just randomly spawning because I would be down. I mean, if we... Oh, definitely dudes. Okay, so let's get out of combat. Uh, let's go slash home. Let's get some stuff. And let's actually just do a quick raid. Easy peasy. So just an interesting note. Nucha's helmet over here is pretty much broken. And I would love to actually fix that because it's really good. I'm wondering how many levels it'll take though to actually do that. Or if it's possible to see if those enchants will actually stay. The command for slash fix is a little expensive, if I remember correctly. I think it's 50,000, and we don't have nearly that sort of money right now. I mean, I wish we did. What's our balance? It's at 20 grand, so let's just see real quick how much we can actually repair this for, and if it's doable. Yeah, because Nutra Summons gives us all those extra levels and a bunch of other really good stuff, so let's see. Okay, I actually will do that. That's actually a good trade. Okay. So until we actually get our our fix command, we just use that for now. Okay, so we got all of our really good stuff. I got some Valiant Boots. I'm not going to need the Demonic because I I have Strength Potions because you're allowed using Strength Potions in that. So this will be Block 4 Protection, which will be nice. And Legendary Helmet will go right back here. And I'll see you guys at the raid. We got our Protection 4 stuff. Pretty hype. I think this should be pretty easy. And a Smite Sword. Yay. All right, guys, here we are at the ship. A lot of things have died here. Holy moly, that is insane. Like, hello. <laughs> Free stuff on the ground. Free pickings. Anyways, let's do this. You can tell there's some dudes on the inside. Oh, my God. Who's just running at me? That's not the soul bear. Okay, good. This isn't the boss because it's the worst when it's the little zombie. Baby zombies are the boss. So we'll take him out real quick. Easy pieces. Let's climb on board. Here we got three potions of strength. Two. Are they going to let me on board? Watch it. Watch it, dude. Back up. Here I come. All right. Oh, I actually kind of... I, oh, I, I don't, I don't want to knock them off. The thing is, I actually want to kill all these guys because it increases my sword MCMMO. So I really actually want to kill these guys because they'll actually be the tankiest mobs out there. So it's not bad. I mean, I would actually rather it. So that's, that's the plan. But let's jump up into the ship and see what we can do. All right, we're up in the ship. We're going to pop our strength potion. And actually, let's just start with some, some good old arrows here. See who we can take out here. Also increasing our archery level, which we really want to do. I mean, I'm probably going to use all my arrows. I actually really need to spend like some time getting some chickens. Okay, so wow, we actually got poisoned. I hate how that goes right through your shield, right through all your absorption hearts. Absolutely insane. So is this the boss that I'm fighting right here? I'm actually hitting? I'm, I'm not sure, but this is like free archery levels. How many arrows do we have? We got 42 arrows. So I'm just going to sit here and literally just launch arrows at these guys while uh, the boss just spawns creepers and stuff. Because I don't think I'm actually doing any damage to him. Uh, maybe it's because I'm not close enough. But oh, oh, okay. Those creepers are actually coming at me in full speed. Oh, here he comes. Okay, we're going to pop our strength potion. And let's just take out these guys. All right. Come on, buddy. This creeper. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my jeebus. And there we go. Strength going. And we're just going to do mass amounts of damage to these guys and just wreck face. Bah, 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 bah. And I would love to use my axe, but I just don't think the axe is going to do enough damage because this is really just an efficiency axe. Like, that's really all that is. I mean, it's really great levels, and you guys know I love my axes if you watch my faction series. So I'd obviously... I just dodged both of his attacks, by the way. So I'd love to do my axe level increase. So, I mean, I guess I'll take this moment to fight this easier boss here to level up my axes. Already up to level 36, but if you guys know anything about axes, you really want to get it much higher. I mean, we're talking in the hundreds, but... I guess this isn't a bad start. We'll let that XP grow. Wreck this easy peasy lemon squeezy boss. Look at this. With the strength, it's a joke. Oh, invis. All right. Oh, oh. and our gear is so good, though. We got the block. We got the absorption. We got literally everything. He can't even hurt us. I'm not even afraid. The one thing I'm afraid about is, is his health bar on the top isn't decreasing, which is kind of like, um, what, what is happening? What is happening, dude? Please, please. Hello, hello. You, are you, are you want to fight? You want to fight me, sir? Okay, you're going to fight me. And he's down. He was like, you're going to fight me again, dude? Your health is still full. Was that not the boss? But apparently it was in Headless 3. Oh, baby. I love it. Sharpness 1, Knockback 1, Fire Aspect 1. Good for, uh, good for dungeons. What else? Protection 3, Demonic 4, Pants. Not bad. And then Protection 4, Block chest play. Okay, cool. So a nice little cheeky dungeon. I'll see you guys back at the base. All right, we're getting wood. That's what we're supposed to be doing right now. All right, so we got a whole bunch more wood. We're ready to make a ton of bookcases. And by a ton, I mean eight 
only so we're pretty much about halfway there it's definitely going to take some more time let's go ahead and just place this down below uh, actually real quick we got some bone meal from that adventure we we're able to pick those off the uh the bodies of fallen enemies <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and get our wheat going we're going to turn our wheat and we're going to just kind of breed our cows a little bit some more and get those flowing because we're definitely going to need some more leather that's for sure i wish i could bone meal you guys so you grow faster but that would be that would be weird that would be way too weird but uh, overall i mean we're doing pretty good we're not way too far behind at least on enchanting levels i mean i think that by the end of this episode we could probably have a level 30 enchanting table uh, we'll obviously have to do some off camera work and stuff like that but it should be able to get done but it's an absolutely pivotal part of getting our stuff really situated even though le 30 levels are really hard to get and we're actually nerfing if it hasn't happened already the xp you get from dungeons uh, I, I i think so i think that would be a pretty good setup to actually have because it's a little ridiculous at this point where you can literally use that we want xp to be like a really hard thing to obtain so that level 30 enchant is a really really big deal and fighting for those items is what's going to be you know the main driver not grinding experience points so just a cute little behind the scenes of how to minecraft the one thing i want to do real quick with you guys right now is turn this bad boy into a villager my only issue is actually getting him to the cave system so to do that i've actually decided to create an underground passage to get to that cave system so somewhere from inside here I would like to be able to get to our underground layer so I'm gonna build down I'm gonna find a good spot to do it and we're gonna make it so the only way to get down there isn't through the base but all through also through a secret passage in here so please keep between us it's gonna be super secret all right let's get to work and uh, get that going all right guys welcome back so the secret tunnel is complete I'm trying to <laughs> get a grasp on this layer underground it's so big I I've never seen a cave system so intricate. I mean, I've spent hours, hours, guys, trying to light this whole place up, and I, I just can't do it. Look at all this. It's everywhere. There's no end to it. There is no end to this cave system. You think you found a dead end, and then it just opens up with a completely different branch in a completely different area, and it's non-flippin' stop. It's non-flippin' stop. I just, I, I, look at this. Look at this, it's huge! It's actually massive, it's so massive my voice is hitting pitches it's never hit before! Damn! No, but like, in all seriousness, I, I've been trying really hard to... Can I actually kill one of these creepers without them blowing up? Thank you. I've been trying really hard to get a grasp on the size of this place so I could actually finally light... Like, I mean, okay, this look, this breaks right into here! And right behind this wall is a huge other cave system that I would have never known existed! It's insane, guys, and I just, I want to light it all up, and I just don't think I can. I just don't think it's possible. It's that big. I mean, there's, there is literally no end to the, to the massive, massive size of this, of this cave system. I, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So I'm going to actually head back to my, my layer for now. I mean, I'm grabbing up all this iron, obviously, because we're going to be needing a lot of iron in probably the next episode, if uh, not the episode after that. Uh, I mean, I'm out of torches, obviously. Like, I'm done. I, I just, I go through them like crazy. I'll show you guys the progression on the, uh, the layer. It goes all the way down here. No big deal. Sure, let's just, let's just have the cave system go all the way down. Okay, thank, it actually ends. Like, that is, wow, that is good news. It, I mean, but that whole other section, who knows how big it'll be. We'll never get rid of the zombies in the area until we uh, clean them. Let me turn my sound actually up a little bit. All that area, insane. So let's just, I don't really want to block it up, but we'll block it off to the point where zombies can't make it through. Uh, there we go, okay. So, uh, if we head this direction, I mm, all the way down there, if we head this direction, now I'm lost in this massive cave, we should get to the underground secret tunnel, which is, it turned out really good. It was a little bit longer than I had anticipated. I actually had to go uh, home and back a couple times to find my way, uh, just to, in terms of coordinates. I thought it would be pretty simple, but I think the route that I took because I wanted to go straight uh, made it a little bit longer than if I went like diagonally um, because I think the underground layer base is actually offset a little bit because when you when you move down it's not quite you know uh, straight like we didn't build it obviously which is nice but it does cause a little bit of issues when uh, trying to make it symmetrical so I just need to find it real quick so let me go ahead and just and find my way back because I am literally lost in this cave system I, I am not sure where to go okay so I found one of my offshoots I think think and yep I did okay and here we are back at the area so as you can tell it's 
pretty substantial in size. Uh, it goes quite far, and if we come here, this is where you actually can jump down all the way up from that farming area. So you can jump down here, there'll be water or whatever, and uh, you'll run through this whole shebang right here. Well, obviously, we'll get it decorated to look real nice, I think. Uh, probably just stone brick. I'll probably place all the all the stone with stone brick or even just make it like a, a one by two either. We have the room to work with it now, you know what I mean? But I think if I'm gonna do a secret uh, dungeon, a secret underground passageway, it's gotta be cool. Uh, and then I think that'll be probably an episode with, within itself with a nice big time lapse and that sort of thing. And oh my god, we're just gonna close that up. Like, please stop. <gasps> too much, too much. So you come here, you turn right, and you're here. So it's actually not, well, it's actually a lot shorter than I thought. I don't know why. I guess it's because I mined a three by three. It felt a lot bigger so it's really actually not that bad and then here we are in this area so we've opened up a whole other bit uh, and uh, got it going and I think I actually can do a little bit of texturing now actually let's go ahead and get that floor I just want to do the math real quick to see how much how many blocks of one thing we're gonna need to do the floor you know, we got some time to fit it into this episode I think we're gonna go ahead and get a design going for this floor and then I think we'll do the roof and wall later uh, I actually need to just go drop off the honestly hold on a second let's just do this real quick sell hand $530 we just sold all of that stone that we mined up honestly we have so much back at the base it doesn't really even matter uh, but here's this I'm gonna do stone bricks and then I think I'm gonna do spruce slabs and we're gonna do it in a pattern like this so like two one two one two one and that's gonna be our setup I think for the floor so let's go ahead and clear the floor and get it all done So no real point for a time lapse actually. Uh, MCMMO proving to be quite useful. Obviously you got our little issues here with blocks that are going to be lost. So we're just going to have to disconnect, reconnect, and uh, definitely worth it though. All right, time to work on the floor. We're going to do a quartz and stone brick slab design. I've decided, and I think that's going to look pretty swag and what I'm gonna do is oops uh, because quartz are obviously a lot more expensive I'm gonna do just this on the outside and then the quartz in the middle and we'll see how that goes I might actually swip out uh, switch out the quartz with nether brick so it'll be like quartz nether brick quartz nether brick quartz nether brick quartz nether brick uh, we'll see how we go in terms of how much quartz we actually have to do this and this I mean we should I think both sides is about a, like it's one stack I think it's about 50 long so we should we'll definitely have enough quartz to do this so we'll see and then we'll just decide if we want to actually add the uh, the nether brick. So we'll see how it looks. And just enough. All right, we got to light this thing up though. Holy moly, it's dark. Okay, and we'll do probably, I would say, how about this? Let's do this properly here. So this is about 50. So every 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, break you. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, break you. 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Break you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we'll have a little compartment. Oh, we're off by one. I. Uh, that should be fine. We'll, we'll do something special here to make this. Like we'll turn this into maybe a little bit of a larger room. So we'll say that that actually kind of starts there. If that makes any sense. We'll put like some stairs here. We'll give this some dimension. There's always a way to work around being a little bit off, guys. Don't worry about it. We're going to get some glowstone here, though, and uh, get this looking nice and fresh and lit up. All right, so we've gone as far as we can with the resources that we have. A little bit of uh, necessary mining will have to go down, but I think I really like this. Now, the only thing that will obviously change is the stone. Uh, I am not a big fan of stone in man-made situations. Like, obviously, for the island, it's cool, but I'd actually rather this to be cobble stone in all seriousness a mix of cobblestone and stone bricks would actually be really 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 nice uh, i want to actually show you guys a cute little fun game that i i came up with <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous but it, i actually have a lot of fun doing it and this is going to be really hard because there's more holes in it i'm probably going to fail miserably but i actually had a lot of fun when i was doing this uh before for the uh whatchamacallit the the this stuff, <laughs> that, that stuff. What I do is I take out the block that I want to place in these holes and I sprint by and I try and get all of the holes with, oh, without messing up. And when I mess up, I lose a point. And if I step sideways or backwards, I also mess up. So I've lost maybe like two points on this. 
Uh oh, I messed that one. That one kind of went no no, but that makes it makes it fun. Like I really am a fan of that. Uh, the stone doesn't look so bad actually, with the mix of a decent amount of stone brick, uh, kind of giving it some better dimensions and stuff. Okay, so it's actually not bad. I still might switch to cobblestone. I'm not sure how I feel about the stone uh, being there, but I think just stone too much of it as a as a as a face to something is just way too boring. It just it needs to blend with something, and the um, that was not enough. So now that we actually have it, some more some more blending to it, it's definitely a lot prettier. And and uh, I actually kind of like it. So there it is. We got to just get a little bit more netherrack, which would be pretty easy to get. And we have our secret little uh, tunnel area, which I'm a big fan of. Let me go ahead and just eat some steak. And uh, yes, yeah, so we now have the ability to go to... We'll make, it, we'll make a ladder there or something so we can get up. Maybe just like an elevator or whatever. Uh, Minecraft elevator. So we have a place to get here to our farm. And where are you coming from? Where could you possibly spawn? Where could you possibly spawn, dude? There's like nowhere. Where? I don't know. Anyway, so now we actually have this place to work with, which I'm a big fan of. And uh, definitely want to make it a little bit better, but it's pretty sweet if you ask me. So uh, let's go ahead, just get some more netherrack if we can. Uh, go home, place all these things away. I'll show you guys how much stone I have. That's why I do sell hand, guys. That's why I do sell hand. See if I have any more netherrack. Ah, another rack brick. Mmm, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna have to head on back to the nether, which is not that big of a deal, but I will finish that up for the next episode. That's gonna be this episode of How to Minecraft. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button down below. I really appreciate it. You guys are all awesome. We're gonna get a little bit of a grasp on how much uh, inventory we have left over. Maybe even make some more chests for stuff, because it is getting hectic in here. And I will see you guys later. Let's cook this bad boy, make some bank, take care, and goodbye.